Hi guys and welcome to Wit and Delight, your lifestyle tip show. My name is Misty. So remember previously in our recent episode I said that we're going to talk about how to leave a toxic relationship. Yes, we did speak about how to identify a toxic relationship. So today we are talking about how to leave a toxic relationship. I know it's very difficult at times when you have to leave a relationship because of the fact that you have invested a lot emotionally and everything. But if the relationship is not working out for you, my brother, my sister, why stay in it? So the first step on how to leave a toxic relationship is first evaluate the relationship honestly. So you want to weigh the pros and cons of the relationship. You can even take a step further by taking a piece of paper and then jotting down the good things in the relationship and also the bad things in the relationship. And then weigh them. If you think the good outweighs the bad, well, go ahead and stay in that relationship. But if you think the bad outweighs the good, then you have a lot of thinking to do. So yes, and at times you can also get a third eye because it's not everything that you can see yourself. So you can get a friend, a trusted friend, or a family friend to help you identify some of the things or the loopholes that you think, okay, may be missing in your relationship that you yourself haven't seen. And this may help you to make that decision of leaving that relationship. Two, rediscover yourself. So yes, at times you may think it's late to do that, but it's not. In a relationship, you can ask yourself, is this what you want? What do you want to achieve in this relationship? Do you think the relationship is helping you to achieve your goal? Do you think the relationship is making you become a better person? What kind of value is that relationship adding to your life? If you think it's not doing that, well, then you know what to do. So think about it and make sure that this relationship is adding some kind of value to your life. And another important thing I also want to say, don't follow society because at times when you think a lot about society and a lot of things that's going on, you will think that, oh, you know, let me just be in this toxic relationship because if I leave, this is what society is going to say or not, and all that. Don't let society determine your relationship status. You can be single and still be of value. My third point is start loving yourself. So in a relationship, I know at times you have to sacrifice for your partner and all that. But it doesn't mean you have to sacrifice yourself or your happiness or your values or your beliefs or things that make you happy. Whatever you're doing in a relationship, consider your mental well-being. Make sure that you are happy. Whatever you're doing is putting a smile on your face. Don't just say, okay, I want to sacrifice for my partner. So yeah, let me put myself somewhere and then it has to be all about my partner my partner my partner think about yourself and make yourself happy so my fourth point is have a sit down conversation with your partner so yes there are some things that you may think your partner is aware of but he or she may not be aware of the fact that oh i may be treating my partner this way or doing these things to my partner that my partner is unhappy or doesn't like, the person may not know. So you have a sit-down conversation with the person and then list out the things. Don't do that in an angry tone or angry voice, but in a calm manner. Let the person know that, oh, these are the things that I have noticed that you do. That makes me uncomfortable, that makes me unhappy, and I'm not enjoying this relationship. And who knows, maybe moving forward, that person may have a different change of heart or we find a way to make you happy in that relationship. So my final point is observe and decide. So after having a sit down conversation with your partner, you can move back and observe whether okay, the things you pointed out to him or her, he or she is changing or trying to make the relationship work or trying to make the relationship a conducive environment for you to still be in. We, we at times say it's difficult for people to change, but maybe you pointing out the things that you don't like about the relationship may make the person change. There is a possibility that the person can change. 
So based on those observations, then you can decide that, okay, I think I want to still stay in this relationship or I want to leave. So yes, these are my five steps that you can use to leave a toxic relationship. I hope these steps have worked for you. You can share yours in the comment section. I'd really love to read it. This has been Wits and Delight. Kindly follow us on all our social media handles. We're on Facebook, we're on Instagram, we're on TikTok. If I were everywhere, Wits and Delight. Thank you for watching. My name again is Misty.